All right. Good morning. So um, today is Monday. We're going to be reading um, three books this week that have to do with community helpers because that's what we're going to be studying in uh, social studies. So today um, we're going to read When I Grow Up, and it's written by this funny singer called Al Yankovic. And then um, I know some of you guys might have already heard this story before because it was on our um, our list to listen to or read um, during our learning time, but um, I'm going to read it for you now, just in case you haven't had a chance to read it yet. So, When I Grow Up by Al Yankovic. When I Grow Up. Mm, let's check out all of his drawings. He's got some ideas. I want you guys to keep thinking in your brains while we read the story, what things you want to do when you grow up, what kind of community helpers you want to be. I grow up. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krep's class. And Thursday at noon, I'm sure you know well. It's the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject, so special to me, was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. Hmm, so you see him right there, he's thinking, what does he want to be? So when Mrs. Krupp said, who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. Me, 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 me. I raised both my hands just as high as they'd go, and I bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Mrs. Krupp picked me. Yes, me to go first. Oh, I was so happy. I thought I would burst. Yay! Look at him in the bed. Oh, my gosh. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my choice for a future vocation. That's a job. Ahem. Esteemed friends and colleagues and dear Mrs. Krupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna. Ooh. Surrounded by kumquats and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops, bon appetit. Mmm, so he wants to be a chef. There he is, cooking. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies I'll gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France. So make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it. I'm certain you see a world-renowned chef is what I'm going to be. Mmm. In your brains if you want to be a chef. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Mrs. Krupp said. Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold on. Hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats because I'm just getting started. Oh, man. Whoa. See, maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. What? Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like. Holy moly, I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then, then jump, I mean ooze, through a huge ring of fire. And crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire. Then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails.
There's riding the bike. Running through the ring of fire. Doing all kinds of stuff. High wire up there. Or else maybe I'll be the lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade. What? That's directly beneath the main radical sockets inside cooling systems on X14 rockets. Oh, and since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? He wants to work on rockets. Say, here's an idea. Perhaps just for laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow. And I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. I've never heard of a giraffe milker before. Okay. What? Milking giraffes? Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered. How else could there could we make giraffe cheese? Now, don't interrupt me. I'm not really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Here's some more. Because <laughs> maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. That means he gives gorillas massages. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or maybe I'll be a rodeo clown or a movie director or maybe professional pickle inspector or big sumo wrestler or, huge, or hedge fund investor or a smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester. Ew. Or maybe I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model, or friendly mortician, or waiter, or skater, or master debater, or dinosaur dusting museum curator, or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign waver, or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. Ooh. And finally, I said, my great-grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things, had a whole bunch of jobs, a butcher, a barber, who cuts hair, a bellman, somebody who opens the door for you at a hotel, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and a bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103. Whoa. And he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly, I'm hoping you'll cut me some slack if I leave options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all of those things. You don't have to just pick one thing. You could do lots of stuff. And then the bell rang, and we all went to lunch. And as I was sipping my pineapple punch... Hmm, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like a brave firefighter or a crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher like dear Mrs. Krupp. And look, he gave her a picture. That says, Teacher Billy for Mrs. Krupp. Love, Billy. The end. There he is. Still thinking about things he could do while he's sitting on a dinosaur skeleton. The end. And this is Weird Al Yankovic, the guy who wrote the book. And he's also a singer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to 
work on this web here of what I want to be when I grow up. And I drew a picture of this little guy here with a question mark above his head. So that way you guys can think about what professions you guys would want to do. So I want you to think, think, think in your head. What are some things that you could do when you grow up? And those are called community helpers. Some of those jobs that some of you want to be, those would be community helpers. Okay? So think in your head, and I'm going to turn off the recording. <laughs>